Traditionally, box culvert construction projects take several weeks to complete. The contractor must rely on labor-intensive tugging equipment to seal monolithic box culvert sections in a trench. This method requires the contractor to handle each box culvert segment twice, first by crane to lower a segment into the trench, and a second time to rig it up to a pulling machine so it can be towed horizontally over the compacted subgrade. This installation method can be costly for the contractor, requiring a hand cranking method or a pulley chain system to move each box culvert into place one at a time. The cast in place and the monolithic box, the problem with them is that the time consumption of them. As you can see, we're probably two weeks behind in our schedule, but with Jensen being able to bring the box out and set it in two to three days, we gain that two weeks back. Jensen precast cantilever wall design box culvert enables the contractor to install precast box culvert sections quicker than traditional monolithic box culvert. Using a gravity set tongue and groove system, each box culvert end is lowered directly into the receiving joint, eliminating the need for tugging together box culvert sections and resulting in tighter joints free of subgrade aggregates. I really like this product. It's uh, certainly going to speed everything up. If we were to pour and place this project, uh, it would take you know, 60, 70 days to get across this roadway. Installing this precast, in my experience here, we're probably uh, a third the cost to do it this way rather than spend it the other way. Jensen Precast offers two designs of cantilever wall box culvert. Type 1, which is characterized by a U-shaped bottom section and a flat top, and Type 2, which consists of two U-shaped sections for applications requiring higher clearances. Jensen Precast box culverts range from 4 feet wide by 1 foot high, to 24 feet wide by 16 feet tall. Normal section length is 16 feet, producing fewer joints than monolithic box culvert. Box culvert sections can also be engineered to accommodate large pipe penetrations or manway accesses without having to saw cut or core drill sections in the field. Once you've achieved a level and properly compacted sub-base, you are ready to set Type 1 box culvert. Typically, box culvert is set downslope, starting on the outlet side and finishing with the inlet side. Jensen precast box culvert is designed to be placed in a direction so that the tongue of one U-shaped section is placed down into the groove of a previously placed U-shaped section. The top sections are connected by placing the groove of one top slab over the tongue of the previously placed top slab. Ensure both top and bottom joints are formed opposite of one another. For example, a bottom joint will be formed by placing a tongue end into a groove end, while the upper top slab joint will be set placing a groove end over a tongue. Each groove end should be sealed with the specified joint sealant and proper size prior to setting a tongue section. Common joint sealant for box culvert is known as mastic. Line the inside of the groove section with mastic and along the top of each wall where the top slab will be placed. To achieve proper sealing of the sections, first set two bottom sections before setting the first top slab section. Normal placement progression will have one bottom section always extending beyond the top section currently being placed. If the culvert run is multi-barrel, a three inch space should be left between the parallel culverts. Prior to backfilling, fill this gap with grout or lean cement sand slurry mix and allow it to cure prior to backfilling the excavation to ensure that all horizontal forces are uniformly transferred from outer side wall to outer side wall. Once you have achieved a level and properly compacted sub-base, you are ready to set Type 2 box culvert. Typically, box culvert is set downslope, starting on the outlet side and finishing with the inlet side. Jensen precast box culvert is designed to be placed in a direction so that the tongue of one U-shaped section is placed down into the groove of a previously placed U-shaped section.
The upper half of type 2 box culvert is formed by placing the groove of one top section over the tongue of the previously placed top section. Ensure both top and bottom joints are formed opposite of one another. For example, a bottom joint will be formed by placing a tongue end into a groove end, while the upper U-shaped section will be set placing a groove end over a tongue. Each groove end should be sealed with the specified joint sealant and proper size prior to setting a tongue section. Line the inside of the groove section with mastic and along the top of each wall where the top slab will be placed. To achieve proper sealing of the sections, first set two bottom sections before setting the first top slab section. Normal placement progression will have one bottom section always extending beyond the top section currently being placed. If the culvert run is multi-barrel, a 3-inch space should be left between the parallel culverts. Prior to backfilling, fill this gap with grout or lean cement sand slurry mix and allow it to cure prior to backfilling the excavation to ensure that all horizontal forces are uniformly transferred from outer side wall to outer side wall.